In this section, we will look at the structure of a NEOS 2 software project and the available third-party operating system and middleware offerings. In the most basic embedded project, you have a hardware platform on top of which a developer has directly written an application. This can be optimal in terms of usage for the hardware, but lacks flexibility. For example, adding any new features or changing the processor may require a rewrite of the software. Also, development requires knowledge of the hardware, creating potential maintenance issues. So let's quickly look at what is available on an FPGA platform. There are a range of soft core processors that can be implemented in FPGAs. Today we are focusing on the NEOS 2 processor. The NEOS 2 processor is delivered with a range of additional IP that can deliver a basic microprocessor peripheral feature set, for example, UARTs, parallel IOs, timers, serial to parallel interfaces can be added to the NEOS processor. The FPGA is also well known for high speed DSP processing, so naturally there is a wide range of DSP IP like video and image processing blocks or FFT and FIR filters that can be integrated into your FPGA systems. This means that the NEOS 2 processor does not have to do all the heavy lifting. And in this way, you can use an FPGA to replace a powerful DSP solution. Many processor devices include much more than just a basic peripheral set, and most of these more complex interfaces are also available as FPGA targeted IP. If you need a particular combination of interfaces, the FPGA may be the best way to deliver all of these in a single device. As you can see from the list above, we're not just talking about popular processor device interfaces like PCI, Ethernet, and USB, but also higher performance interfaces like RapidIO, PCI Express, and digital video. And finally, no processor system is complete without access to memory. With programmable devices, you can choose practically any memory you like as there is support for a wide range of memory types. All of this IP is available from Altera IP Megastore and our IP partners. Coding directly to the hardware requires the programmer to have very intimate knowledge of the hardware. This can be a problem, especially if you change the hardware frequently. The way to avoid these issues is to abstract the hardware using a hardware independent API or application programming interface. All of the hardware specific details can be in a single header file and in a support library that does not have to be supported by the application developer. In the NEOS 2 development environment, this is done automatically by the build tools. The hardware abstraction layer offers a Unix style API for interfacing to peripherals and system services like timers and interrupts. All hardware settings are abstracted using the pound defined statements that have been automatically generated by the build environment. The build environment will also automatically update all hardware related software libraries, for example the new lib C library as required by your hardware design. This means that you do not have to spend time changing your hardware interface code if the system design changes during the course of the project. Abstracting the hardware is usually not enough to completely separate the application and hardware specific code so the next thing you might need are device drivers. The device drivers abstract the hardware completely into a set of services that operate through a fixed API. Now an application developer will not notice if you change the hardware as long as it offers the same services through the same API. This is possible because all the hardware related details are dealt with by the device driver and the hardware abstraction layer. 
The NEOS 2 processor peripherals are delivered with pre-written device drivers. When you create your project, the software tools will automatically add the correct device drivers for all your peripherals to the system support library. These device drivers target the HAL so that if you change your hardware, the application will always work correctly. This means that you do not have to spend any time updating code or header files if the system design changes during the course of the project. For a complex system, you may have several separate functions that you want to run in parallel. To avoid the complexity of sharing accesses to the services and system resources, you may decide to implement or buy an operating system. Here's a current list of the operating systems that are supported by the NEOS 2 processor. As you can see, they range from open source systems like ECOS and MicroC Linux to well-known commercial systems like Micrium's MicroC OS 2 and ExpressLogic's ThreadX. The list is growing all the time, so it may be worthwhile visiting Altera.com to get the latest information. And finally, to accelerate your development, you may decide to use some additional pre-written software services for special functions like network stacks, file systems, or graphic libraries. These may or may not be dependent on the operating system. The InterNiche Niche Stack is provided as part of the NEOS 2 software build tool environment, making it easy to access and evaluate. It is provided in source code format and supports several different Ethernet Mac devices, including the Mac device found on the Altera NEOS 2 development boards. The Niche Stack does require a license, but combined with the Altera Ethernet Mac IP, it provides an extremely cost-efficient Ethernet solution. There are many other network stacks available on the market. Many of these are provided by operating system vendors or companies that specialize in Ethernet products. These can be the ideal solution if you need compatibility with an operating system or a special implementation of the protocol like industrial Ethernet. Again, please check the Altera website for complete information. Another popular software middleware component is a filing system. Most operating systems have an associated filing system. Sometimes this is built into the operating system. Other times it's provided as an additional optional component so that you can save memory space if you don't need the filing system. The Altera read-only zip filing system is included in the NEOS 2 development suite. This does not require a separate license. Check with other vendors for their licensing requirements. For developers creating a system that requires a high-quality human-machine interface, a graphics library might be a good way to shorten your development time. Again, these software packages tend to be offered by vendors who market real-time operating systems, although the two do not have to necessarily be used together. The exception to this in the list shown here is TES. The interesting thing about the TES graphics library is that it is delivered with a hardware graphics accelerator to deliver high-quality graphics features like anti-aliasing, with minimal load on the NEOS 2 processor. For more details on any of these products introduced here, please check the Altera website. So now we've given you an overview of the Altera design tools and available software IP, let's have a look at where you can get more information. A good place to start any search is the Altera.com website. Under Products and then IP and Embedded Processor page, you'll find links to the NEOS processor literature like the software and hardware manuals, tutorials, and application notes. There are also many design examples that show you how to implement things like Ethernet peripherals, microprocessor systems, web servers, and many other types of systems. To keep up to date with the latest Altera Embedded news, please register for the Altera Embedded e-newsletter.
On the Altera website, you will find links to our embedded partners websites. If you would like to communicate with other NEOS2 users, visit the NEOS forum.